What's up YouTube? Capital G here. Got a couple of quick derp duels for you guys to check out, including both sides of the extreme Yu-Gi-Oh! Spectrum combo and stun. First duel is going to feature stun, and uh, looks like we have some sort of hero variant. I sold turbo base, maybe at the top. Usually heroes revolve around going into like the, uh, the vision hero monsters and being locked into heroes. Doesn't look like that. This build probably is an I sold build, but uh, it's facing off against a deck that main decks a mono a Wado, and this card is just an absolute nightmare especially when you got cheese like mystic mind that can make it stay uh face up on the field and not return to the hand and he's actually going to do that in this play it's going to be uh yeah pretty dirt now he does activate a danger monster Luckily, he doesn't discard the mine or discard that copy of a mono. And uh, when he activates Mystic Mine, which he drew another one anyways, he will not actually return to the hand because monster effects cannot be activated. This means that his opponent can't activate any of these monster effects. These cards are just like really annoying to deal with. Um, even for control decks like Salaman Great, well, Salaman Great's like that mid combo control. But even for control decks like Guru or Ultra Geist, basically they, they can't really do any searching with their monster effects effects like me lucy Gorguru, and it's really hard for them to just kind of spot remove the amano off the field because it is such a large a large monster it's kind of like the same as inspector border you can see he is going to turn his mystic mind off by setting the other copy and then normal summoning a fossil diner which he searched last turn from the gallant granite and basically this duel is over even if he had evenly matched, I'm not convinced that he would win here because I feel like the Amano can just beat his entire deck. I don't think, I mean, maybe he could just keep setting monsters, but I feel like eventually he would just get another normal summon and that would be the end of that. So, uh, yeah, some of these decks that are like super glass cannon combos, this is the problem with uh, these decks. Uh, sometimes you go second and you just don't get a chance to do anything. This is why you got to run impermanence, people. I cannot stress how important infinite impermanence is. There's a reason why it's the second most played card well i can't i can't officially say that but there's a reason why it's one of the most played trap cards in the entire game i'd probably say it's the most played trap card in the entire game second duel is going to be uh two combo decks and a pendulums is the best deck according to my friend triff so uh, it should have no problem beating a master rule five synchro based deck looks like this one is going to be focusing on summoning that big red dragon actually you're, you're going to see a lot of red dragon monsters in this duel there will be some potential misplays by the uh by the pendulum player anyways we know how powerful jump speeder is you can chain block the card with ash blossom so a lot of times ash blossom does not stop it and he is going to go for that really big supernova dragon i don't know why the old um entity haster is on the field i feel like if you're just going to go for a generic rank or excuse me um synchro four wouldn't Herald of the Arclight just be better? I'm pretty sure Herald of the Arclight is generic, right? Isn't that just generically better because it is a negation? Also, it makes your opponent send their, uh, send their cards, some of them to the uh, the Banish Zone. So I feel like that would just be better. Anyways, he is going to go for Master Cerberus. I think Master Cerberus is going to do a, a good job of baiting out the Supernova because it appears or it, it's going to attempt to threaten Supernova, which means Supernova has to respond. He's going to have a pretty good opportunity to play through this, but he's just not quite gonna find that damage good thing he actually did go for this 2500 attack monster not able to complete well actually no it doesn't matter i forgot he bounced it <laughs> he bounced it then normal summoned i don't know about this because he's so close but guess what math fail he is 50 points shy of doing lethal damage and unfortunately well you know what if this was this is a master of five duel do you just play Red Eyes, uh, you know, Red Eyes Metal Flare or Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon for the memes? I feel like you do. <laughs> I feel like you summon Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon here for the memes. And then if your opponent activates any card, you'll win the duel. But um, that was not in the cards for him. Anyways, his opponent gonna go for that junk speeder going to chain block i think that his jackal is actually online so he does actually have a monster negation but he couldn't get after the speeder here what he could actually or what he can do is he can try to negate and he will be successful in negating the tyrant red dragon archfiend i love the artwork of this card the one before this which is actually maybe it's after 
Wait, is this one? I think this and hot. No, no, no. I think actually hot is uh, I think it's hot is level nine, and then I think this guy is level ten. Yeah, the one that comes after it, I think is might be calamity. That one I don't I don't really like the artwork that much of that one. Whichever the eleven one is, I'm not like super in love with that artwork. Anyways, it looks like he can potentially do this. The problem is his opponent does have that supernova dragon, and I'm not sure that I see a way of like really being able to kill it. Actually, no. So he does top deck his copy of Mythical Beast Garuda. Maybe this could be a way that he outs it. I don't know if he actually has any counters right now. He has to make sure that he keeps Shack on field. And I'm pretty sure that, you know, some of you smart pendulum guys could figure out a way of doing this. Maybe using the effect of Empress to use that bounce effect. I don't know if he has enough, enough spell counters to do that. But he is going to make a critical mistake here. He's going to trade his monsters in for Nightmare Unicorn. And then he's going to attempt to pendulum summon. The problem is he, I don't think he has that negation anymore so he's gonna end up losing his entire field which is <laughs> really bad I, I feel like there had to be a better way of navigating that I'm, I'm pretty sure like 99 percent of you guys know what it is but i don't play pendulum so unfortunately i don't know and he ends up top decking blue boy which i mean that card can get you two more draws but really what are you going to do even if you top deck two pendulum scales you summon one of them back none of your monsters in the extra deck are even big enough to get rid of the drake uh the dragon knight drake Quest, quests let alone the uh, supernova dragon off field i think triff probably would have been able to find a way to win that game but uh this pendulum player not so lucky anyways hopefully you guys en enjoyed those uh quick duels if you did give the video a thumbs up thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos